If you're not willing to fail, you're not willing to succeed. There are certain times you'll try business endeavours, try a new idea. You're probably going to fail at it ultimately. And that's all right. Every time you fail, you learn. Every time you fail, you work your way closer to success. You work your way closer to coming up with a great idea. My vending machine business that I started at uni, yeah, I made a little bit of money for a little while, but ultimately, that business failed. I no longer have a vending machine business. My vending machines, you know what they are? They're tucked away in a storage unit in the Shore Guard near Stonebridge in Northwest London. I have no vending machine business. There's certain people who knew that I started the business way back when I did. I know they probably thought, what's the point of starting a vending machine business? Who starts a vending machine business? Who are you to think you can start a vending machine business in your own uni? And maybe now, if they watch this, they'll be like, see, I knew it weren't going to work out anyway. But what some of these people fail to realise is... Sometimes you have to fail at certain things, but when you do, it opens up doors and avenues elsewhere. Even if the only door that needs to be opened up is the door in your mind. That change in thought, that risk-taking element. So yeah, I started a vending machine business and I failed. You know what? I went self-employed. I was working for Home Saharangi. I'm an electrician. I decided, you know what, round about September of 2016, I want to go self-employed. Got my vending machine business. I'm an electrician. Let me resign for the 31st of March. Now, I actually got fired in 2017, January. But before I decided to go self-employed and rely on being a self-employed electrician and my vending machine business, I decided to buy a property because I knew if worse comes to worse, I'll have one lodger in my house, I have a vending machine business and I'm a self-employed electrician. I'll be able to pay for that mortgage. So I decided to resign for the 31st of March, but I ended up getting fired beforehand. If I never started that vending machine business, which ultimately failed in the end, I wouldn't have had the confidence to say, you know what? Forget working for Harringay Council, it's long. Let me go out there and do my own thing. Me personally, I wouldn't have, probably would not have had the confidence to solely rely on being a self-employed electrician. But because I had the idea of starting a vending machine business and I had a little money coming in behind me all the time, then I had the confidence to buy this property. What happened? Six, seven, eight months later, after I bought this property, I bought one in Egypt. But I wouldn't have this property here right now Or the one in Egypt, if I never started that vending machine business that failed. It's alright to fail. When you fail, you learn. How can you learn anything new if you don't try anything new? Don't make no sense. But certain individuals out here, they have business ideas. And you know what? A lot of people's business ideas... To get them started, to get them going, get them running, it don't even cost much money. But the average person just doubts themselves. And they talk themselves out of starting up this business. Because the first thing they think is, what's going to go wrong? All, all the negatives, that's what they think. You know, I like to talk about people red taping people's ideas. For example, if you want to get into property development or renovation or start selling cars or whatever... You tell that to your friends, they will tell you about all the negatives that could go wrong with this business. Sometimes it's not even them. Sometimes it's just us. Sometimes we talk ourselves out of starting businesses, starting trying new ideas. 
How many people watching this right now wanting to start a YouTube channel? Procrastinating it like, like a, yeah? Wanting to start that YouTube channel for months, years. So sometimes it ain't even just the people outside. Sometimes the people within. The person in the mirror. So those people, they have all these business ideas that they convince themselves about what's going to go wrong, how they're going to fail. It don't matter. Even if you fail, you're going to learn something new. Life's about learning new things. Life is about becoming the best version of yourself. How are you going to become the best version of yourself if you don't try anything new? If you just work the nine to five, board the train at Edmonton Green and get off at Houston. And even if you fail at that particular business endeavour, afterwards, when you recover, you might come up with even a better idea than that one. I know, man. Going to university for that. End up doing this. Man, are all making serious money now. Man's got a degree in one particular field. He don't even work within that field. He works in a different field. But that man's caking. The man is caking. Completely different field, you know. Completely different field. So, it's alright to fail. Don't feel like a fool. Don't worry about what anyone else is thinking. Talk about that a lot. But, especially when it comes to business ideas as well. Anyone that you talk to about your business plans, business ideas, if they think it's stupid, the reason why they do is probably because they're not successful themselves. They ain't on the right path themselves. Anyone who's been successful, is successful, or is trying to become successful, they know, say, you're going to come up with these crazy ideas and they're going to fail. They understand. They won't mock your ideas. But anyone who just can't fathom starting a business, writing a book, jumping on YouTube, or, they will think your ideas are stupid. Don't worry about what they think. Anyone who's, who's successful, any successful business person, who started multiple businesses and failed and eventually they became successful, they know, say, you're going to come up with some silly ideas, per se. They know you're going to fail at this. They know you're going to fail at that. So all these ordinary, mediocre people who are just, you know, there's certain people out here, they really are comfortable and content with working for someone else. And that's fine. If you want to work for someone else, that's all right. But do not look at other people who are successful and complain and ask yourself why you don't have that. Or try to pretend that, oh, this person was born with a silver spoon in their mouth. A lot of these people ain't. A lot of these people just come from normal families. Parents struggling. So... At the end of the day, right, if you're going to make something yourself, you're going to make something yourself. Don't be afraid to fail. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Because when you fail, you learn something new. Now you're supposed to become the best version of yourself if you're not constantly learning or striving to learn. Stay wise.